This is another video on outdoor projects. This one is for roundabouts, how to create and how to calculate them. To create a roundabout, I would like to start with the DWG. I can use this plan. And when I begin, as usual, I'm going to verify the scale. You can expect that this here should be about five to 10 meters and it's now 70 centimeters only. So the scaling is not correct. Most cases done correctly, but you should be verifying it every time. So, as a backdrop for my entire production, I'm going to use a floor plan, a floor element. And I'd like to continue now by creating a calculation area circular for this place. Calculation object. This has to be done with a polygonal calculation object. And of course, the more points I'm going to place, the better it's going to look. But for our case, it should be enough to make it with 20, 25, probably 30 points. So you can increase it to more detail if you wish to. If you want to go back one point while placing these row of points, click Ctrl Z. And now you have to click the right button to finish this process. This is the calculation grid we're going to use. Here we are going to determine the type of calculation we want to do. It's not the perpendicular illuminance, but the horizontal one right on the floor. So we're zero centimeters offset. The distance we have to determine, which should be one tenth of the shortest distance between two poles. So we have to verify the distance of poles. This button to check distances. So distance from here to there is about 18 meters. There's 19.5. There's 17.8. And there it's 18.5. So 17.8. Let's say 17.1.75 is the distance we should be using for the calculation from point to point. So we have to activate that surface again and change the value. You've seen how the grid has changed? I hope you have. Now we have to delete the points here in the center. And that is very simple. We're just going to create another floor element which has a larger thickness than the height we're going to use to, for the measuring. Like I said before, we're going to measure at the height of zero centimeters. And we're now going to make this, for example, 50 centimeters high. These measuring points are going to be deleted automatically. You can see it here. So now it's time to insert the lights. These are the lights I want to use. And I'll insert the first one using drag and drop. I have to check the orientation. So it should be like this. Let's verify that's to make the light distribution curve visible. You see these yellow lines here. Now with Ctrl C and Ctrl V, I can make a copy of that light at the same place and rotate. Or instead, if I prefer to, to use instead Ctrl C and V, I can use also Ctrl M. And I'm going to place the light in the position where my mouse is. And once again, Ctrl M rotate. So we got all our four lights. I can make a multi-selection keeping the shift button pressed and modify for example the mounting height. So it's time now to calculate. Calculation will take just a very few seconds, 5, 10, 15 seconds and then we can see the result of our calculation. So the average now is 10.5 lux. A min of 6.7 we can verify a min and average ratio here in these places which should be enough to check if that surface is going to meet the requests by EN 13201 as only illuminance is requested typically determined by the street with the highest value we have four streets here and assuming that we should be having five lux which would be a very typical value then we will be already meeting the standards you can verify the scene also on false colors if you have any dark spots to see where you have probably a point which is too dark not meeting the standard. 
So it's very, very quick to achieve a correct result using Dialogs Evo when you want to create roundabouts and when you want to calculate them.